Yeah, well, um, you know, last year didn't start, um, you know, on the greatest note here in Australia. Um, you know, and besides that year, I've I've always, you know, felt really comfortable playing here, and um, you know, I've had really good results. Um, and uh, obviously, it was disappointing, um, you know, to go out so early. But um, you know, you it happens. You move on. You you try to learn as much as you can from it. And um, yeah, and, and you know, my ambitions are still very much there. I'm, you know, I've been a competitive girl ever since I was pretty much born and um, you know I love the sport and whether it's a, a loss or a win you you know I try to move on from that and um, and build on something whether it's little or big. Yeah well the tournament hasn't started yet um, you know this is the time of year where um, you know you really see um, you know for me it was a, a longer layoff than, um, than for some others um, you know it's been a, a couple of months and we played one event since then since Beijing so um, it's a you know it's a great place to see for everyone where their game is what what they need to work on and, and try to build on from the you know first few rounds um I actually didn't know you know I, I didn't know what I would ever be when I was out of the game for a while I didn't know if I would ever you know be back um, that was a challenge in itself is, is to try to get myself um, back to, to playing the sport again and um, and to be honest I I never, you know, on the way back, I never really thought about ranking because I, every time I stepped on the court when I had an expectation of when I would be back, um, I would never really reach that goal. So for me, it was just about going out there and, and I mean, it, it certain, certainly took me a lot longer to get back to, to playing um, and, you know, and the reaction, all the things that, you know, the sport requires you to do um, to get that back, but uh, it's, it's still coming along. Um, you know, a, a little bit of everything, I guess. And um, you know, in terms of the game, um, you know, I'm not going to change my game completely in order, you know, to suit different opponents. I know what my strengths are. I know what my weaknesses are. I, I try to work on the things that I that need to be improved. Um, and um, you know, and I think one of the things that I lost by not playing for a while was the action reaction in the game a little bit and um, you know almost like the hand-eye coordination letting things happen a little bit more by themselves and not worrying about you know maybe things that happened three points ago or so on and, and that kind of you know that I think that's the thing that takes most time and um, and um, yeah I wish I certainly wish they could have played a little bit more last year um, you know those six or seven weeks um, you know after Indian Wells wasn't able to play, um, you know, some of the bigger tournaments, but um, yeah, hopefully this year will be different. Um, you know, it was. You obviously you look back through it because you you wanna you wanna make adjustments to make yourself better. Whether you finished the you know the year 100, whether you finished it in top 10, whatever it is, you. I mean, I've it's always been part of me ever since I since I played. You finish, you always you know you only have a co week or a couple weeks off, and you look. You look towards something that's going to make you better, that's going to help you. That that, I mean, there's there's always things to improve on. I think anyone is perfect. Um, I, I was sick for a while, and um, that's why you know I was supposed to play Moscow. I really wanted to play there, but um, you know I came to Asia. I wasn't feeling that great, and um, just went home. Um, well, one of the things you know, like I said, it was it was great for me to to have a little bit of a change. I've kind of had the same routine throughout the years, and um, I um, you know I. Played three matches, um, you know, in, in quite different conditions. The last one was tough, and my opponent, you know, played really good tennis, and um, you know, wasn't my best day. Um, but it, it was great. I, I got some good days, and it was pretty warm up there in the first week that I got there a few days before. So I was able to train a little bit, and yeah, you know, pretty much left after Christmas. Um, you know, while I'm my biggest fan, I'm also my biggest critic, and you know, I'm not gonna, you know, sit here and say what my result is going to be because I don't think anyone knows and you know including myself it's that's why we play the matches that's why the nets go up and um, you know the the tennis cans are are open with the balls and you go out and play and um, you know whether someone has expectations on you or you don't or you do doesn't really matter it's all about going out there and and um, trying to win oh absolutely um, you know no years take away from the year that you know you did so well here and you won and um, you know I played extremely great tennis throughout the tournament against you know really really tough opponents um, you know I had one of my toughest draws in the Grand Slams I've ever played and um, and you know got through it and um, 
you know, with, with really great matches. And, um, yeah, that's definitely something you look back to, and especially when you go out on that center court, you, you, um, and you look back to the memories and the great times, and, yeah. I mean, I, I guess you can say it's, it's more open than, um, than some other years um, and some other fields. Um, you never know. Um, you know, you, you can approach someone the first round that doesn't have a chance. You go out and they play, you know, some of their best tennis in their life, go on and win the tournament. Um, I don't know, open or not, I, I don't think it, 